right, let's see who we have next. Number 14. Ah, right here. And I see you're interested in auditioning for the part of the devil. That's right, yes. Step, see, you were supposed to indicate your role preference below. See, name was where you were supposed to put your own name. That's what I did. And not a big deal, I guess. All right, so you're familiar with the script. More or less. All right, so you're the devil. Right. And you come down to Earth. Up. To meet with the journalist. Director. Because you're claiming victory over God. What was that? Director. Yes? You. Yes. I'm the director. I know. Good. Well, glad we got that settled. Well, not exactly. So, you're clear on your part? Yes. And you understand your motivation? Oh, certainly. Well, I like to see that kind of confidence. So, let's get started. We've been getting some complaints. What? We've been getting... All right, look, look. I know a lot of actors just want to ad-lib everything, but this isn't an improv piece, okay? We've got a script. Good lines, good point, so let's just read that, okay? Good. I'll get you started. So you're the devil. So you're the director. Oh, my God. Actually, uh... so The line is, so you're the journalist. Can we just try it that way? I think... Good. Great. All right. So, so you're the devil. Yes, that's right. Stop. Just stop. All right, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Funny you should put it that I mean, way. did you just come in here to waste my time? There's a lot of people out there waiting for a chance at this part. <laughs> Two. Well, that's still one more than I need. And one thinks he's auditioning for kinky boots. And how do you know when he's... He's dressed for the part. Well, it doesn't matter, okay? See, we've got lots of people, lots of options. So if you aren't going to take this audition seriously, just get the hell out. Ha! <laughs> Again, funny you should mention that. All right, thank you. That's it. I have all I need. If, if you would be so kind as to send in the next actor on your way out. Uh, I don't think so. I don't care what kind of boots he's wearing. At least he might be willing to read from the script. I've come to have a word with you. Now's not the time for it, unless the word is in the script. I think it might be in there somewhere. Fine. Get on with it. The game's over. You see, once upon a time, people actually tried to resist me. They practiced moderation and self-restraint. They thought ahead. They balanced the desires of the present against the needs of the future. <laughs> Back in those days, I had to be clever. How could I tempt this person? How could I mislead that one? Now, though, there's, there's nothing to do. So few of you ever think beyond immediate gratification that the very concept is... All right, all right. Um, I'll admit, I'm impressed that you memorized the monologue. Well done. But... Now I need you to read it more like the devil. More. More, more devilish. Yes, yeah, I need you to mean it. Oh, ho, ho, I mean it. So I, I need to feel like you really have something to say. <laughs> Trust you know, me, I... That, you... that, that's, that's something that's specific to me, you know? Something very hellfire and brimstone, okay? Make me pay attention. Ah, in four days, you are going to die a horrible death at the hands of disgruntled actors. And then I'm going to drag your soul down to hell, where you will listen to entitled egotistical first-year theater students misinterpret Hamlet for all eternity. That's... That's actually rather disturbing. Um, but let, let's just stick to the script for the... <laughs> and your audience will consist of old people who ceaselessly complain that their hearing aids don't work 
and a small children with an insatiable appetite for crunchy candy wrapped in crinkly metallic paper reinforced with chain mail. Oh, not those little gold foil. Yes, and in every performance, your incompetent Hamlet will proudly proclaim to the entire audience, Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him well, Felicio. And uh, no matter which part you try to correct for the next performance, he does it exactly the same way, over and over and over for all eternity. (laughs) No, it's not a joke. But you're you're not... You aren't really. I mean, th- th- this isn't. I'm sorry. It's either that or that, that or, or what? That or what? Is there is there another option? Because I will take the other option. I swear, I will take the other option. Are you certain? Oh yes, please. Anything but the torment you just described. Done. I'll return on Tuesday. Wait, wait, wait. Just out of curiosity, what is the other option? You are going to become a Shakespeare. Shakespeare? Well, that doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> That's right. You will become William Shakespeare himself, trapped, watching incompetent actors butcher Hamlet for all eternity in front of an audience of, well, you get the idea. Enjoy the weekend.